Welcome everyone, this is K1 2021. Here we have uh, the K's Festa. And this is day one. We have a fight here. Uh, and before we do, uh, I'm Russell Goodall and this is... Nicholas Pettis. This is a cruiserweight of 90 kgs uh, uh, versus fighting with Dui and also Seiya Tanigawa. Both big guys and uh, 90 kgs, that's a... That's a category that you would like to fight in, maybe one day? Uh, maybe not one day, but I <laughs> wish they had it back yeah. in my day. <laughs> there you go. So we have two large guys. This is round one has started with the cruiserweight. Rui is actually 194 centimeters tall. Wow. Um, and, and his opponent, uh, Tanigawa, is 180. So there is a, a slight difference there, but uh, still, it might not look so, but... These are guys that are large, tall. Oh, <laughs> nice kick. <laughs> Good. I'm actually 180, so I know how it feels to fight mm. people that are 194. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what, what, what does the uh, uh, arm <laughs> So not fair. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. I like Tiny Gao's kicking. Tiny Gao seems to have more power, more muscle, would you say? Well, he's shorter, so he's carrying the same weight, so he's just going to be more stockier. Sure, sure, yeah. Um, whoa, he's got some good combinations. I actually like the pace of this fight in the first round. These guys really went for it. Mm -hmm. He's got the height, but as you say, he's more lanky, so... Is that, is that an advantage or, or disadvantage? It depends. I mean, it should be an advantage. If you're at the same weight, then. Um, ah, yes. We'll find out by the end of this game between Rui and Tanigawa. I've got to tell you though, Tanigawa is actually landing a lot of good, strong short punches um, that are going to do some kind of damage here. Mm -hmm. And when he does kick, he kicks hard. So that, what he just did there, pushed uh, Dewey away. Onto the ropes, yeah. Yeah, so that actually sucks a lot of power out of you. So he's actually using his size and weight really well here. Mm -hmm. I'm not really seeing Dewey taking advantage of his height yet. That's, yeah, that, that seems, seems to be the case he's probably wants to, but nice low kick there from Tanigawa. I'm pretty sure Tanigawa used to do karate. I can just tell by the way he's kicking and by the way he stands upright and looks at his opponent when they're far apart. And you're, what, you're, you're correct on that. Yeah, he, is, he does have a karate background. Absolutely. Good, good, good. Pace yourself. Nice. I like the way he's doing the fight here. He's very calm. He, he seems to be... Oh, what is the rule? Is that, uh, <laughs> nice bombs. Rui really doesn't like it. That, no. Trying those knees, but with his long legs. Well, say, so go, to go back to your question, is it an advantage to be higher or, or, or shorter, right? In this case, mm -hmm. because of the same, the physical strength of Tanigo, it's actually to his advantage then. So you see? Yeah. He's controlling him by kicking him harder and punching gotcha. harder. Gotcha. Yeah, he's using his weight, his physique. Oh, nice spinning back kick. If, it, if that had worked, that would have been nice. That was the first round of Rui and Tanigawa. Obviously in the same, uh, this is in the cruiserweight. Um, but interesting for what's happening with the two uh, height differences. Well, think about it. Yeah. It's mathematics, right? Whatever height you have, how much uh, weight can you really pack on? Mm. And in these um, weigh-ins, which are done like the day before, you could like drop weight like three, four kilos, even up to seven kilos for some guys that are like really good at dropping weight. Wow. Um, and so on the day of the fight, they could be just around 100 kilos actually. But Dewey here, he looks like he's a natural around 92, maybe 93 maximum. Sure. Um, but Tanigawa here, he could be like a lot heavier. Sure. 180, 194 sounds like yeah. Nicholas Pettis versus Badahari. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true, it's exactly what it is. Yeah. But we didn't have the under 90 kilo cloud. Exactly, on it. right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I think Badahari's at least over 100, yeah. We were both over 100. I was 105 when I fought him. Right, right, yeah. So this is round two. We'll see what Rui does. What he, we what he Oh, that's dangerous stuff. Straight to the face there from Taniyama to Rui. I would like to see Dewey starting to take advantage of his length by 
getting a really good strong jab and controlling Tanigawa. Right. But it's not really happening right right now. Yeah, I yeah. love the way he comes in like that. Oh man. Tanigawa? Yeah. yeah. Showing it. Yeah. Showing it with his arms. Sticking it to the tall man. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, very cool actually. Yeah, that's what's interesting with K1. Yeah, not the tall boy. Oh, oh man! Oh, yeah, Look at that. <laughs> oh, he's almost going. That's yeah, a punching bonanza right there from Tani Yala. Man, he looks like he's spent. He's, he's kind of looking a little lost there. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, big bomb! Kick him, come on. Give me the kick. Combinations. He's open to anything. Oh, that's a very school Muay Thai, Basie. Sneaky. Yeah, break it up. Oh, man. He almost had him. Get him, get him. close to the edge. Well, he was, but now he's already recovering. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting a warning for it. Grab it onto the neck and knee at the same time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. How is she still standing? Oi! He, he is trying to dodge it. Yeah. Ooh, oh, look nice at that. Kick to the, the neck there. Man, must be frustrated he's not dropping him at this point. Because he could have, he could have well have, but uh, well, I don't understand how he's still standing, to be honest. Yeah, he, he looks pretty groggy to me. Lots and lots of training, lots and lots of sparring in the gym. Yeah, like physical conditioning that just you know carries him through this fight. I'm pretty sure Dewey he trains a lot. Mm. He's got, you know, he's got the muscles, he's got the. You know, the strength too, but uh, obviously Tony Gaw is bringing all the power he has. To him. Yeah. 20 seconds to go. Oh man. This is crazy. It's looking like an end of it, like uh, the third round. But, we're but see, he punched himself out, so now when he does land something, it's not going to hurt because he's just not, you know, the power is gone right, right. now. Right. Oi, front kick. Just before the, nice. the gong, um, that was the end of round Ooh, cut two. Cool, cut the style there. Yeah, between Rui and uh, Tanigawa. They both actually were part of a K1 gym. Uh, Rui from the Fukuoka team beginning and uh, Kaute-based uh, Tanigawa is at the K1 gym. So how do you know Chris? So, you know, um, hmm. they do it, they, different backgrounds, but uh, you know, obviously they, they're here in the K1 game. This is Tony Yo's third K1 match. Whoa, heavy punches there. Man, he was unloading on him. I can't believe he went through to the end of this round. That's true, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm glad he's happy that he's sitting down right now, but he soon has to come back to round three to uh, fight against Tony Yo. I wonder what his coach is telling him in the corner. That's, yeah, that's a that's a mystery that we will sure. we won't find out. Pull out your strong jab and pull out your front kick and don't let this guy come close to you. Yeah, keep him away. Well. Mm. Oh, that was again. Because he's got the reach, so if he, if he actually if we're hit, you know, he, you know, he does he needs a lot of distance to have a clean hit, right? Yeah, well, yes and no. I mean, it doesn't have to be a big punch. It just has to be a punch that doesn't let the Tanigawa come closer to him if he wants to have any kind of control of his fight. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of ruining him by walking into Tanigawa all by himself. Keep him at a distance. Use your front kick. He should never be touched like that. Mm -hmm. When he's like, what, right. what is it, 15 centimeters taller than Tanigawa? Yeah. How is he reaching him with his jab? Is this a strange for me? Like all he had to do was stand up a little bit taller, get his chin a little bit higher back, and then just like never let him in. But see, he lets him touch him with his jab all the time. Seems to be going into uh, Tanigao. Yeah. Right. Don't get me wrong, tanigao has got a great jab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it shouldn't be that easy for him to hit him with a jab. Sure, sure. Good defense there, actually. 
Yeah. Yeah. See, and then he's short, and then he can slug it out. He's just tired now. Ten hours? Yeah. 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 He this punched himself win. out in the, in the second round. See, again, that's a great job. Like I said, Dewey trains really hard because you can tell that his physical condition is actually carrying him through this round. Yeah. I think normal men, they would have given up a long time ago. Mm. In the second round, they looked, it was a little worried with looking at Dewey, but you're right. He's come back, I think. But still, uh, Tanya seems to be leading this round, too. Not really, actually. It's, it's, I don't see him leaving the fight at this point. It's just like now the pace is so slow that it's hard to say what's really going on. Right, right. But I wouldn't say that. Whoa, oh, okay, that was good. That was good. Finally, finally. Wow. What I'd like to say. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah. He did stand up. It's, it's good. Now you don't have to finish it. You can if you're fresh enough. Can you guys still got something left in him? Um, not so much. Yeah. yeah. Oh, whoa. but I mean, you always get a second win when you when you get you know knocked down. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, the condition of Dewey is actually really remarkable. Despite what what he's getting. Right? Yeah. He's like he's getting. really taking a lot of punishment. <laughs> he's not giving up at all. Look at that. Big bombs again. See, he's still fighting back. He's actually trying to win it. He's like giving, he's coming forward now. Yeah, we've got a couple of seconds left on round three. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, oh, and he's like, yeah, he's he, like dragging his leg. Oh, yeah. yeah. He is tired, tired, tired. They both are. Yeah. But you know, Dewey actually still had heart right until the end. That's kind of impressive, I've got to say. Yeah, it's hard to, to judge sometimes from the expression. But yeah, Taniga looks like he's in a little bit of pain there. Let's see what the judges have to say. Definitely done. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Oh, this is the, the knockdown we saw of Rui. Yeah, that's straight, got him. This is Judge Teddy. Judge Teddy. Judge Teddy. Judge Teddy. Second judge. Judge Teddy. Judge Teddy. Judge Teddy. ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジャッジ、ジ